The woman who lives with the president and has his ear every night fired up the 6,000 delegates at the Democratic National Convention. First Lady Michelle Obama delivered a sometimes passionate message. For Barack, these issues aren't political. They're personal. Barack knows the American dream because he's lived it. She related the stories of her own and her husband's humble beginnings and the bond they feel toward the women whose hard work and determination led them to the White House. Because for Barack, success isn't about how much money you make, it's about the difference you make in people's lives. Women delegates express admiration for Mrs. Obama as a role model who represents their values as a mom and a wife. Michelle, I think, really sets the tone for women. The, the way she talks, when she can command a room, and when she talks, it's almost like when your mom talks, you immediately pay attention because you don't want to get in trouble. The Democratic women in Congress lined up on stage with several candidates, putting on display the party's advantage in gender politics. Erica Pines is a political consultant. When women vote, Democrats win, and I think that's definitely an asset because Michelle has a great way of rallying the Democratic base, but she really has a way of touching and connecting women in general. Earlier in the day, the party's women's caucus gathered to criticize the Republican platform, which opposes abortion without regard to the mother's health. Changing demographics in some regions have made another group, Hispanic, a strong force for Democrats. Gilberto Hinojosa is the chairman of the party in Texas, a large state in the southwest. At the end of the day, if the trends continue with both uh, uh, women and Hispanics, and if the turnout for Hispanics um, is what it should be uh, in some of these key states, uh, uh, President Obama is going to get reelected. This year, there are a record number of Latinos here at the convention, 800 delegates. But that's a lot fewer that attended the Republican convention. Also making history here, the first Latino to give a keynote address, Julian Castro. Ours is a nation like no other. He is the mayor of San Antonio, Texas, a son of Mexican immigrants. And here he is a critic of the Republican presidential nominee. When it comes to getting the middle class back to work, Mitt Romney says no. When it comes to respecting women's rights, Mitt Romney says no. After speakers here rallied Hispanics and women, former President Bill Clinton makes a return on Wednesday, as in 2008. The campaign hopes his popularity will rub off on an incumbent who polls show is in a dead heat with his opponent. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News, Charlotte, North Carolina.